Hello, Annie. <laughs> Welcome to the Slingshot channel. This is going to be one more video about the uh, new Cobra Adder prototype. Actually, ready for production. Because it's too windy for my Leonida special. It's going to come later. <laughs> In any case, I had so many questions that I decided to make one more episode to explain a little bit more about the weapon. Now, first and most important, this actually uh, can fit six bolts into the magazine, although the manufacturer only recommends five. <laughs> Insider joke. Anyway, um, this is of course a magazine equipped repeating crossbow, really tactical with laser and light. So really, really a cool thing. Um, a lot of people asked for the price and I now heard that it's priced for the complete package, including the metal aluminum, do uh, aluminum red dot, uh, the uh, rear shaft, and of course also the holder for the light and the laser, if you buy it from the Gogan store, and the front handle, and even uh, a belt that I don't use. Um, it's going to cost 349 euros in Germany or in Europe. Of course, it may be differently priced elsewhere in the world. Second question. Will it be available elsewhere in the world? I guess so. <laughs> but of course, it comes down to the local distribution, uh, also to set prices and features. So, um, third question, when is it going to be available? Well, Polang thinks in July or August this year, because this is still a 3D printed prototype, and they are now in the tool making process. I would actually go to Taiwan to meet up with their development and management in two weeks' time to discuss details. Another common question, uh, can these shoot broadheads? Well, these are the like um, five-edged uh, botkin tips that you can get in standard for it. But yes, there is room for broadheads. I want to show you one more arrow setup that I also like. Let me see if the camera focuses. Okay, as you see, I blunted those. And I did this because uh, when I do cycle tests with lots of shots to see if it's reliably feeding, um, I need bolts that don't penetrate the mat all the way, including the veins, because otherwise they will break very, very, very soon. And with the blunt tips, that's not going to happen. Okay, coming back to the broadheads. It actually fits broadheads. I have two samples for you, these ones here. Actually, you can buy these. Let me see if it focuses again. You can buy these tips inexpensively on Amazon. Um, and also, the only thing you have to do is you have to narrow them with a uh, grinder uh, just a little bit because otherwise they're too wide or you can use those oops <laughs> those are a little more solid so they last longer also and um, they're also really really pointy but um, they're also heavier so this is now 14 grams whereas the original arrow is 12 grams and the arrow for the r9 is only 8 grams and as you see the magazine actually has room for broad heads since it's simply opened up enough so even very large broadheads would fit. This room is for the veins. A lot of people expressed concern that the magazine would actually increase the wear and tear on the string. I can tell you that that is not the case because the bow is set a little lower. So this means that it's actually still only gliding over the rails and the string at no time touches the magazine. So this cannot really add any additional friction. But of course, with a repeating crossbow, you end up shooting a lot more often than with the single loading one, obviously, because it's so much fun and also so quick. <laughs> but uh, so this will, of course, mean that the string will, of course, uh, show the normal wear. So you have to replace it and wax it every time. Actually, the manufacturer recommends waxing it every five shots. I think that's a little exaggerated. Uh, I think probably 30 shots between the waxing would be good enough. But um, I want to do a test showing you how to fire 100 bolts from this without any break and without any waxing to see that this is reliably feeding because I also had people that were concerned about that. So for this test I made myself a new string. It's actually it seems a lot of wear already but I recently reserved it with a little bit of, uh, of brown ale uh, serving string. Um, so uh, I will use this for the 100 shots and we will inspect how it's going to look later. Let me show it to you in this condition here. As you see, it's waxed and everything. And now I will have to replace this. And this one has about 300 shots on it. So it does show somewhere, but it's still fully intact. 
but I will also show you how to replace string because it's really super easy with this weapon. You don't need any tools for this. The only thing you need is a little bit of a help string. Um, actually, Polang sells one that is really cool, but this one has been simply made from a bit of paracord. It just needs to be long enough to loosely connect the ends in cock condition. So first what you do is you remove the thumb screw here. Then you can slide the magazine to the front. And now you can already see the original one. So this is one that has seen 300 shots. As you see it's still intact. But of course it shows somewhere. That's normal for crossbows. So now what you do is you slide this over it and if you look closely you can see that there is actually a special little notch for the help uh, string. So you don't have to fumble. You simply connect it both ways. Like this. So now you can see that the help string is pretty loose. And now what you do is remove this and then you simply cock the weapon just as normal and you can see that immediately this tension is completely removed from the string. So now what you do is you easily remove it like so. Okay. So this is by no means garbage. I will simply renew the serving because the string itself is completely undamaged. Now I take my refurbished one, feed it through, slide it over, like so. Okay. Same here. Okay. As you see it's very loose. Now I simply uncock it, like so. I can then easily remove the head string. Oops. <laughs> okay. And everything is ready. New string perfectly in place. And now I take my magazine, put it on, slide it on, replace the thumb screw. And guess what? I'm back in business. <laughs> Super easy. I think this is a well thought out concept and I applaud uh, the guys from Poland that they came up with this. To answer one more question, the auto safety, can it be removed? Yes, quite easily. You have to take the weapon apart to take it out, but that's not complicated. And I will show you in a special tutorial later on how this works. Although I have to say that once you've gotten used to it, it's kind of an automatic uh, thumb switch. Not sure if this would also work in a defense situation. Therefore, I'm still a fan of removing any auto safeties. Nothing wrong about a safety switch, but auto safeties eh, for a self-defense weapon. I don't like it very much. So, sitting on the source, <laughs> I actually have uh, fetched myself a total of 100 of these bolts. They come in packages of 10 bolts each. And um, yeah, those are the standard 8 gram ones since the special error ones are not yet available. This is actually a good thing because they're faster and therefore there's additional wear on the string. Means if these survive, then of course the others will too. So this is what 100 bolts look like. They're actually not expensive, but I got enough of them to stop a small army of zombies, I think. <laughs> okay, here is my archery mat. And as you can see, it's still in pretty good condition. Not many shots on it. That will look different after I'm finished. Although I will try to spread the arrows evenly over it so I don't damage too many arrows by hitting from, from others. Okay, cold and windy and I think it's going to rain soon, but let's go for it anyway.
Okay, these are the last five shots, then we got them all. Battery of my red dot gave up a while ago, but luckily I have the laser. <laughs> And this is going to be the last shot. Wow, a hundred shots without any malfunctioning, except that the battery went out. <laughs> and all of them are on the target. Let's go look at the damage. That looks like an excellent spread. <laughs> okay, let's go see how the string looks like. Neglected and unwaxed after 100 shots, exactly. Okay, that is the result. Let me see if it focuses. As you see, it actually looks fine. It is actually ready for some more shots. Some waxing and it will be really all right. This is a reliable crossbow. Also, several people complained that there was no coconut test. Well, I have to agree, it is high time for it. <laughs> And we'll be using these heavy, pointy broadheads for the purpose and load them into the magazine. Remember, manufacturer recommends five, but you can fit in six. <laughs> okay, distance is about five meters. Let's go for it. All right, let's look at the damage. Yeah, that clearly, clearly is a dead zombie. <laughs> I know what you're now going to say. You're going to say, where's the clothes, where's the skin? Well, Master has provided jelly with clothes. Is he free now? No. <laughs> so there is the overcoat, there is the t-shirt, and there is this thick leather skin. Let's go again. This, this is the same. Now I can't see the coconut. I hope I'm going to hit it anyway. All right, let's have a look. Interesting, it slipped off, but see the tip went on and actually went into the wooden box here. <laughs> Together with the insert, I think I have to re-glue it. But this of course calls for one more attempt. Okay, let's go for it. That sounded solid. Yeah, this time we really hit it. Okay. Clearly it went in. Let's see if we can get it out. Let's turn it around a little bit. It sticks hard. Yeah, there it is. And coconut. <laughs> Here's the other one. Here is the proof. <laughs> Interesting though, can you see that the coconut was hard enough to bend the tip a little bit? Yeah, it's no joke. So I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Still, what do I think about this? I believe this is still the best crossbow innovation uh, all year. 
because it's reliable, it's accurate, it's really powerful, it's a lot of fun. It's not even expensive, it's just 349 euros with all the bells and whistles included. Anyway, I hope you like this because that's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and... <laughs> bye bye. Oh, before I forget. This actually fits six arrows, but the manufacturer only recommends five. <laughs>